have all these resources, genetic resources in Brazil. Uh, you know, as has been talked before, it's the it's the cradle of peanut, and it hasn't been tapped to its full extent. So what's enabled us to do is to use some of the genetic resources which have been available, have been well characterized by you know, by colleagues of us, and uh, to try and get these where it's needed, where it's important. We were in the situation of uh, being in Brazil with, uh, with the genetic resources and an enormous knowledge base about the species um, and um, being separated from uh, the main centers of importance of the cultivated crop. And in uh, 2004, the Generation Challenge Programme, uh, I think, made its first call. Um, and uh, we, it was basically about the utilisation of genetic resources. And so we approved uh, a project in the first round of calls. And this was tremendously important for us because it enabled us to tie into uh, international centres and increase our uh, critical mass of research. Um, linking to centres like ICRISAT, uh, linking to uh, CERDAS in Senegal, mm -hmm. as well as making very uh, interesting links to uh, research uh, to, to universities in, in North America, in France. Well, we learn a lot. Uh, so we learn about, I mean, and trying to put things together to, uh, to make progress. Um, um, on technical aspects, uh, I think we, we learn that, I mean, there's wonders in the germplasm to be exploited toward uh, crop improvement. Uh. And, and I guess we've made a lot of progress to, to, relieve, to reveal new, new sources of resistance to disease, new germ platinum, uh, with, uh, with better drought adaptation. Um, I guess we learned about uh, the importance of, of weaving together different disciplines, uh, crop physiology, plant pathology, uh, what I call those sort of integrative science with genetics, uh, with modeling. Um, what we learn also is the importance of sometimes not looking only at the crop, but looking at uh, the ancestor of that crop. Uh, so in the project itself, in, in, in Granite, it's, it's key to, to target uh, uh, what are those uh, the ancestors to, to the peanut crop. Uh, we found that we had uh, very valuable alleles in the wild, not only in terms of, of uh, classical resistant gene or, but also for for example for uh, for yield components and such such quantitative traits what we learn is th is that the use of, of uh, markers in in the breeding program could really uh, improve improve a lot the, the whole breeding process in terms of research I think um, well it's certainly very important for us to continue to be um, inserted within an international framework for research. I think over the time uh, it's become apparent that the diversity of the wild species, the disease resistances and uh, other characteristics that they carry, the importance that they can have for the cultivated plant, and now we're seeing concrete benefits from that, and um, uh, lines in breeding programs, markers being used, of course, all these things take a long time to pan through. Plant breeding isn't a quick process, uh, but we are seeing uh, real benefits in terms of uh, in terms of what's in the field and our knowledge base uh, in India, in Africa, in Brazil. Like I said, it's, it's a different uh, ball game to 2004.